I would be July-ing if I said next month doesn't sound exciting. Let's take a look at July in this behind the scenes merchanting review. Hey guys, it's Divine from Merch.com with BTS merchanting review number 25. Before getting into the updates, a quick word on the lack of videos over the past month. Due to a lot of problems and also some opportunities colliding in the same weeks, I haven't had any time to create new videos. It should improve from here on out if I can rework how I spend my time, but making a video every week will likely remain difficult. I'll do what I can though. Then there's something I wanted to mention about last month's BTS video. Probably one of my most accurate predictions yet was that Jax would soon begin to release even rarer discontinued items, which they did through the gem stuff released just days later. I'd also like to briefly touch on the Telos update since you guys will ask in the comments anyways. I think the update was perfectly done, awesome drop rates for the weapons, successful scaling mechanism, great incentives for people to keep improving. This is definitely content that's going to last a while. I hope they won't touch the drop rates because we've desperately needed some useful items with a high value to change things up in the economy. In the past I always enjoyed the ability to move between markets depending on which ones were the most appealing. And it's just something that largely died over the years, which is now starting to return. This month is going to be an exciting and very profitable month for the new and also the old weapons. Don't miss out on the action and try to follow them on a daily basis if you want to make a lot of profit. Looking at the updates in July, we've got the Port Serene Invasion, which we can skip straight away, followed by gathering a crew and building a ship, which aren't interesting merchanting-wise either. It's really just about the Ark region here. I think the auto-generated islands update is great. Even if it doesn't add much value merchanting-wise, the idea behind it and the mechanics are neat, and I'm sure we'll see more of that in the future. When they say one of the three main islands is the trade hub, I'm curious if they'll add another grand exchange there. It's not like it matters much, but it's just odd to call a place a trade hub if it doesn't have the actual trade hub in a game on there. I hope that the new dragons they mention will have a very useful and consumable new drop, kind of like the mammoths and the nihils do. Now this month we'll be able to buy invention XP for real life money, I'm curious to see how much this will push the price of bonds up by people trying to buy them for spins. For the sake of the game I hope they hardly move, but uh, if this change doesn't push them up then the Vic Trader dude probably will. By the way, in case you missed it, make sure to check out July's log for some crazy new stuff. Thanks for watching, enjoy the month, make lots of money and I'll see you all again soon for another video.